But first on Fox, a property owner is facing charges after police say he shot a suspected catalytic converter thief early this morning. It's a crime that's all too common in San Antonio. SAPD says more than 3,500 catalytic converter thefts were reported in the city last year. So what are the limits when you're trying to protect your personal property? Fox San Antonio's Chelsea Torres spoke to a crime prevention specialist to find out. San Antonio police say a man from this business saw someone stealing this catalytic converter from this Chevy truck. This surveillance video from the office furniture business off San Pedro near Bassey shows the suspected thief looking under the truck. SAPD says the business owner confronted the man and the two started fighting. The suspected thief then got in his truck and started driving off. That's when the man from the business pulled out a gun and shot at the vehicle. At least one of the bullets fired struck the suspected thief. He's now in critical condition at a local hospital. The business owner was arrested and is now facing an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. Eli Zepulveta, who works at Eurospeed Auto Sales on the same property, does not think the business owner should have been arrested. He says they've had catalytic converters stolen five times this year. He defends it to the best of his ability and he's in jail right now. I just don't see how that's encouraging to do anything like that. So I guess just let it happen and pay up. We reached out to crime prevention specialist Gilbert De La Portilla. He says the best thing to do in this situation is to let the suspected thief go. You see the property being taken, let him take it. De La Portilla says every situation is different, but if it's property, it's best to value life over property. You have to make 100% that you are in the right to use deadly force or any force during a, during a crime. SCPD says people should not confront or attempt to get their property back from a suspected thief. Sepulveda wishes he could prevent the crime that continues to affect his business. We have videos, uh, we have countless invoices, and it just, there's no end in sight. Now the crime prevention spe specialist that we spoke to has a few tips on how you can protect your property, whether at home or at work. One of the first things you should do is put your driver's license number on all of your property items. And then also make sure you have cameras and good lighting throughout your property. Reporting live, Chelsea Torres, Fox News at 9.